Hello everybody and welcome back to The Long Dark. So I'm in the trailer that we left off last time when we got caught in that pretty bad storm. It's been quite some time. It's been about 21 hours in game because I had hypothermia and halfway through having hypothermia and staying inside for the night, another storm swept through and uh, kind of kept me in here. So we only have eight hours of daylight left. Luckily though, we should be able to get to the... Uh, we should be able to get to the gas station with plenty of time. So we should just continue our journey, get to the gas station, and then we can really start doing a lot. First thing we're probably going to want to do is go hunting. I was thinking about it. I was thinking hunting is probably going to be the best thing that we could possibly do. Oh, look at this area. Now that it's all nice and bright and doesn't feel bad. It feels like 33 degrees. Nice sunny skies. No wind. Nice out here. So... Yeah, I figured the first thing that we're going to do after we get to the uh, the gas station is we are going to go hunting. Because we need to get some deer hide. Because the fastest we can get some deer hide is the fastest it can start curing. And uh, we can start getting some better clothing. Because as of right now, that's been our biggest problem. Because in the six days that we've survived so far, uh, we have had hypothermia three times. Which is not good at all. Uh, it's very difficult to stick away from. We're still too encumbered to run, unfortunately. But we're gonna, just going to make our way slowly down the mountain and work our way towards the uh, the gas station. So, And then from there, I need to start kind of looking into how I'm going to get to Timberwolf Mountain. I'm not really sure where or how I'm going to get to that, but uh, we'll try to figure that out. I might have to just look it up, which is unfortunate, because I kind of like stumbling across it, but... You can't really just stumble across it in a game like this. It's kind of tough. Um, some places you can, but something like that. I'm not really sure which direction it would even be in or which area it would be connected to. So we'll have to check into that. Am I going the right way? This doesn't seem familiar. It doesn't seem like a way I've gone before. I don't really know. Possibly. It's a nice day. Really nice. 34 degrees. Feels great. Awesome. Nice walk in the snow. So yeah. Um, we also need to go through and clear out all the houses around here too. That's definitely going to help with materials. Yeah, we're going the right way because there's the bridge. I remember the bridge. Uh, where is the... Um, the outlook. Where's the uh, tower? Because we're a little bit too low. The road's right there. The tower, I think, is up here somewhere. But yeah, we're going to have to go through all the houses and everything again. Oh, there it is. Way over there. I can see it. Right there. Right there. So, yeah, we're going to have to go through all the houses again just because it helps out with getting canned foods and clothing and stuff like that. So, because unfortunately, there are some things we can't build or craft. We can't make, you know, socks and stuff like that. So we're going to have to keep our other clothing in pretty good condition. All our clothing that we're wearing, all the clothing we're wearing now should probably be fixed as well. It's been a while since it's uh, been fixed. We also need to check out all the cabins out there. Those are good places. Those have a lot of stuff, but... The first things first is we need to drop off some of the stuff that we are carrying now, just because we are very encumbered. We're, we're holding too much as it is. I am a little concerned, though, because the gas station is a really nice place to be in terms of, like, the location. It's very central to Coastal Highway. It's easy to get around. I can get back to the uh, Mystery Lake, or I can go to Desolation Point, or I can go to Pleasant Valley with relative ease. Um, the only issue about this gas station is it's in the coastal township and inside the coastal township, there seems to be a lot of bears or at least a bear that likes to roam around the area and a quite a bit of wolves. So we're going to have a bear and wolves that we're going to need to constantly dodge or kill. I don't think you can kill all the wolves. I know you can kill some of them, but the bear, see, there's a wolf right there. See what I mean? They're just, they're all over. A very dangerous place to be 
We should check out these cabins, though. Or should we wait for that? We might want to wait for that, just because... We're already pretty encumbered. I don't want to get stuck to the point where I am walking slower than I am now. I'm at a decent speed walking, but I've lost all ability to run. So I'd rather not. So we could probably pick up these the stuff in these cabins when we head over to that one on the island. Very nice out. Looks really good. We don't really have days like this, especially after spending the last time in this game just in complete white from a really terrible storm. Just... Birds are out, animals are out, nice and bright, warm, not windy. Nice, good, good day to go fishing or something. Maybe we should go fishing. Fishing would be pretty good, that's a decent amount of meat that we can get. We might, we might do that, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we might go fishing and hunting if we can find a deer. We're going to need some uh, more wolf pelts as well, so we're going to probably have to take out a couple wolves. Luckily though, we are doing pretty good with, nope, that's not what I want. I wanted to check on... Okay, we have a lot of bullets, so we don't need to be that concerned. I don't want to go through them, though, very quickly. I want to be able to hold on to them. Just keeping an eye out. You never know. Wolf sneak up on you. I like this area. I like the coastal highway. I don't know. It's just easier to get around. It looks nice. Nice and open. Easy to see wolves from a distance. But yeah, so um, I need to figure out how to get to Timberwolf Mountain. That'll be a thing that I'll probably have to look into or read the comments if, you know, somebody will, somebody might say where it will go or how to get there. Um, and that's going to be like an ultimate goal thing. It's not something I'm going to be working on quickly. The thing that I need to do quickly is... Uh, Get the clothing and start building up some supplies in a in a base camp because not having a base camp and carrying all this stuff with you really starts to suck after a little while and uh we just need a base camp desperately so we're close though broken down tree i remember this the coastal township should be right up here yeah it's a very nice area i like it I like it a lot. But we do need to be concerned. Because like I've said, there is wildlife around here. Quite a bit of it. So. We need to be careful about that. We do want to try to get some deer. Looks like blood on the wheel. Blood on the wheels? That seems... Doesn't seem right. Granola bar. Might as well search this car since we're here. Never know what you're going to find. Anything in the back? Doesn't look like it. Nope, doesn't look like it. Pop open the trunk here. See if there's anything in it. A toque. Basic wool hat. A rip-off toque. I think we already have a... Don't we have a hat? I thought we did. Oh, yeah, we do. Yep. Uh, let's go ahead and drop that. We have enough cloth. We have so much cloth, it's unbelievable. So, I'm not so concerned about it. I wonder if I can shoot a bird out of the sky and just get, like, a ton of feathers. Hmm. I've never had enough bullets to even contemplate doing that. And what am I seeing? There's a little, like... You see that? Are those fireflies or something? What's happening? Huh. I'm not really sure what that is. I guess it's snow. Is it snow? Well, yeah, look at look at the clouds. Oh, yeah, look at the clouds. Yep, they're coming in a little darker now. Coming in pretty quick, too, from looks like that direction. Over there looks nice and clean. Yeah, I think the clouds are coming in. Snow might be coming down. In a minute. Feels like 39. Got a little warmer. We are hungry, so let's go ahead and eat something here. Since uh, we're in a relatively okay area. Well, in terms of wildlife. You know, we don't want to be trapped. Okay. Kind of get our calories up there. Take something to drink. Should have got something to drink in real life. I'm pretty thirsty. 
But we're doing pretty good. We're on, uh, what's our condition at? Uh, I don't know. Where is it? 100%. I couldn't find it for a second. We're 100% condition, which is pretty good. It's all because of weather, really. But it does look like it's changing. And this is the edge of the coastal township right here. Which is good. Because, uh... It means that we're close to our base camp. As soon as you start seeing signs. Yeah, snow is definitely coming down. Yeah, you can definitely see the... Look at the clouds over here. Really dark. And then there was... The clouds over there were light, but they're starting to get dark. Fog's moving in, too. There is two wolves up there. So, you see what I mean? This is not... It's a nice town. Lots of supplies, but... There's a little bit of wolf dodging that goes into it. Which, uh... Be a problem. Luckily, we have a decent amount of bullets, so I'm not too concerned about wolves. I'm more concerned about running into a bear. That is, hands down, the biggest problem. Oh, this is making a nice squeaky sound. I thought I heard... Oh, my God. Okay. We're just going to go inside. I heard a wolf growl behind me. Oh, good Lord. Okay. <sighs> All right. So, we are home. This is what we're calling home. And we're just going to make sure we pick up everything around here. This so we uh, don't have little things all over the place. Might as well pick up another lantern. So what's good about places like this too is now that we can harvest uh, boxes and wood and metal and all that stuff is we can harvest a lot of stuff around this town for firewood. So if we wanted, we could probably run a firewood or run a fire, would run a fire for a decent amount of time. I'm not sure how long, but we could probably have get a fire going for probably a couple days, I would assume, just because of all the material around here. Man, this place is stocked. This is awesome. What is this? Nothing. Cardboard box. Check out the bathroom. Some lockers. We're gonna have to pry open. Let's see what's inside of these. Nothing. Okay, cool. Good. I'm glad the one that's locked has nothing. It's typically how it works, isn't it? Okay. Checking everything. Picking up everything. Uh, we might have some time to go out tonight depending on how long it takes me to kind of empty out all my stuff. Go ahead and take all the water right out of the toilet. Toilet water. Good. All good. We are moving extra slow <laughs> now. Um, but yeah, so we might have some time to get out tonight, depending on if I can... Uh, we have five hours of daylight left. Might be able to go out there for just a little bit and see. Maybe even kill a wolf. Get some... Uh, Get some meat, get another hide going. We also need to do a little bit... Hey, I see you down there. Rifle round. Can't hide from me. Uh, also, we need to do like a little tally of how many things... How much we're going to need in terms of like how many guts, how many deer hides, how many wolf hides, how many rabbit skins too. We need to get rabbit skins as well, which is going to be interesting. Because last time I tried to get rabbit skins, I spent literally all my ammunition... Ammunition, I'm not going to say ammunition, ammunition on uh, shooting rabbits, which that just didn't go well at all. So hopefully this time we can, uh... oh, dude, really? This is it. This is full speed right here. Okay, we're going to have to drop some stuff. So let's start dropping. Let's drop this wolf hide because then that can start curing. Uh, this is a fresh deer hide that we're going to need to start curing as well. So, let's move up just a little bit and drop that. We have two fresh deer hides, which have already been dropped at one point. So, they're a little bit cured. We'll drop both of those. So, those are both 13% cured. The wolf is already 10% cured. So, we got a little bit of curing. We got some guts, too, that we can drop. Four pieces of guts. Anything else? Uh, we have cured leather. Come in handy, I guess. 
repairing our shoes, I believe, is what that's gonna... That'll come in handy. That's gonna help us with. Okay. There's a hacksaw on the ground here, which is actually extremely handy. Quality tools, pry bar, hacksaw, another one. We're gonna have... I literally cannot move. I've just weighed myself down so much I cannot move. Too heavy. Can't move. Yep. Yeah. Just gonna keep searching. <laughs> a flare shell. That's right, I think they added a flare gun, didn't they? Alright, so in this drawer, let's go ahead. It's only 11 pounds, but we should be able to add a couple tools that we don't need. Like, do we need go and put the better hacksaw in there? Uh pry bars. Let's go ahead and put the two good pry bars in there. Uh, the lantern, that one just needs to be scavenged. It's 34%. That's pretty low. Can I at least move now? I can. Can I search? I thought I could search the top one. I thought the top one was one too. I guess not. Oh, God, this is painful. I mean, look at this. This is max movement right here. But yeah, with all this metal shelving, we can get a lot of scrap metal, which is good, because then we can make a lot of arrowheads. Uh, we're going to need to get a lot of sticks and crow's feathers, so we can make arrows as well. But we're a little bit far from that. That is not right now. Just trying to make my way <laughs> over to this workbench over here. Uh, come on. How much am I carrying? 128 pounds. Yeah, that's a little heavy. That's a little heavy. And about a candy bar. Painkillers. Not sure what that was. I swear, I thought that you could open the tops, too. Am I just delusional, or did they? Is that a feature that they was there, but now it's gone? Yeah, I guess it's not there anymore. I swear, you could open the tops on something. Maybe that wasn't it. Another hacksaw. Why do we... And I can't move. Of course. Just so much stuff. Alright, let's put the other hacksaw in here. Because... I am too loaded down with things. Still can't move. Oh, nope. I can move. Kind of. Barely. This is... Look at this. That is not... That's not even moving. Like, okay. First of all, I've... <laughs> this logic doesn't quite make sense. I've held things before. Or carried things that have been extremely heavy. You don't just... Get so weighed down that you can barely even move. I mean, this is bad. Come on. Really? Well, I'm gonna slowly... We're gonna make a cut here. We're gonna have to make a cut. Because I need to get in that room so I can start putting stuff away in the lockers. And it's going to take me about 20 minutes to get there. So I'm going to make a cut real quick and we will be right back once I'm on the other side of this wall. Because that's what it takes, I guess. Okay, we are at the lockers. That literally took me two minutes. Two minutes to walk all the way around because of how slow I'm going. So let's start looking through the lockers here and just start picking up everything. Doesn't matter if we can't move. We can still access all three lockers. So we'll be able to look into them and see what we can get out of them. And then we can start putting stuff back in them, which will be nice. So... This far left locker I used for things, which was completely empty. Let's go ahead and start putting some stuff in it. I used it for, I believe, uh, it wasn't medical supplies. I believe it was tools, stuff like that. Things that I didn't think I needed that many of. Like, I don't need to carry these broken arrows on me because there's just unnecessary. I don't need two can openers. Um, I'm not really sure what the flare shells are going to do, so I'm going to put those in there. Uh, we'll put, well, let's, okay, let's put all this in here. We're going to keep the fuel just because I've been using my lantern a lot. Put the quality tools in there. Rifle cleaning kit. Way too many sewing kits. Just too many sewing kits. We're going to harvest this. 
I'm going to take off all the uh, the wood matches and all the fire starting stuff too. Um, flares are handy. They do come in handy. So, uh, this one, I believe I would put... Um, what did I put in this one? I can't quite remember. I think this one was medical supplies, which is what I would put in. So, we don't need 24 antibiotics on us at all time. So I'm going to put 19 in here so we can have 5 on us. Uh, this is a lot to put away, so I'm going to put those 2 away. Again, we don't need 8. So I'm going to put 3 away. I'm going to try to make it so we just have 5 of everything because actually holding on to a lot of these pills and stuff like that can really start to weigh you down. There's a lot of water purification tablets, too, that are just unnecessary. So... Yeah, it's just a matter of just finding out where you think things should fit. I'm going to come over here to the fire barrel area. And up here, this is where I put all my fire stuff. So I'm going to put in here all the wood matches, pretty much. Except I'm going to hold on to uh, some of them. And then we can put the... Uh, the Oh, I'm sorry. These are the wood matches. What were the other ones? Cardboard matches, I believe. Uh, let's go ahead and put all that in there. We'll put the torch in there, because it's just not necessary. Um, and then we'll go ahead and we'll put... Oop, nope. This way. Okay, there we go. We'll put the cedar firewood, the other firewood, tinder plugs, newspaper, print, all this stuff, books, things, birch, you know, things that just don't quite do anything for me. Uh, this one, I believe, is where I'm going to start storing things like all my cloth, all my scrap metal, all my cured stuff, all my crow's feathers, you know, things that kind of go to other things is what I'm going to put in there. This little metal container is what I use for food, which there's shoes and a toque in it, but I'm going to put food in here, so things that I'm not going to really need. MREs will keep the worst MRE on me. Uh, herbal tea, that's not, nothing we're really going to do outside of uh, being in this place. We're not really going to make tea while I'm out anywhere. So we'll just put, oh, also, real quick, since that is the food container, uh, we can go into medical and let's put all the water purification tablets in there. Just because, again, that's unnecessary things. So... We're, ooh, coffee. We can put the coffee in there as well. Might as well. So, it's pretty much just organization stuff from here. But, uh, we, wow, we've been going for a while. I did not realize. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. I'm gonna finish searching this area, searching all the cabinets and everything. Putting stuff away. So, in the next episode, now that we have a base camp started, in the next episode, what we're gonna do is we're going to go out and go hunting. Probably a little bit of fishing. And uh, we'll, we'll do the tally, too, of how many deer hides we need, how many wolf hides we need, how many rabbit skins, how many guts, you know, all this stuff. So we can kind of start foraging for that stuff in the area. And then eventually we'll get to the point where we're going house to house. But I want to get the hides as soon as possible because that's really going to help us out later. So I'm going to go ahead and end this here. Uh, join me next time. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit the like button. It really does help me out. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.